Virtual Groomer. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. My choice of soap today is a classic, and this is Barrister and Man Seville. This is um, Will's take on a European barbershop, and I have to say, there's no barbershop scent that compares to this for me. It's just so nice. Um, the main notes, what he put, puts on this, are citrus, herbs, and oak moss. But I'll tell you something, it's just absolutely wonderful. Scent strength on this is probably about a six. Um, to me, this is the classic artisan soap. It's kind of like the Sterling Barbershop. They're very, very classic. Um, so that's gonna be my soap today. My razor, I'm gonna be going back to the Paradigm Diamondback. And inside this, I'm gonna be using a first use Bic Chrome Platinum. So let's get the uh, blade out of here and we'll put the blade in the fucking razor. Excuse my language. <laughs> Again, I, I swear I'm passing, I'm sorry. I've had a pretty hectic day, so I'm a bit tired. Uh, I've not been sleeping well anyway. I don't, it's weird, I, I just don't sleep well. And I haven't done for a pretty long time. So, really easy to load a blade into this thing. Good posts. Turn the handle. And then, last quarter turn. We're done. And our brush is going to be our turn and shave 26mm B5 inside this like I said, and like this incredible turn and shave handle. So we're gonna be using that. So let's get the uh, load on the soap here. Excelsior can take a lot of water, so I'm gonna dunk these tips. And we're just gonna get loading. So how are you guys? Like I said, I'm pretty tired. I'm actually kind of pissed as well. If you see there's two strops there, kind of just here, there's a strop here. Um, I bought that from MTC Kitchen, who are a reputable company. However, they sent me an 80k Kanayama strop, which is, isn't, isn't cheap, is what I'm going to say, and it has a scratch on it. So, I've contacted them, I'm waiting for a response back. I hope that they, uh, they do the right thing and replace it for me, because I'm going to be pretty pissed off. Um, I've not put a blade to it or anything. So the fact that it came comes scratch, scratched outside of the box winds me up a little bit, but it is what it is. Okay, let's rinse off this soap here. Cool. Oh, I sweat the face and get to shaving. I feel I need this. A bit of relaxation. After this, I'll probably crack into a beer. Yeah. It's been a, been one of those days. Um, just a bit hectic. Um, something I want to talk about today is... Um, so yesterday, if you haven't... What, well, I mean, it's not yesterday now. This is uploaded on Wednesday. On Monday, I uploaded a the last episode of the Razorburn podcast, and that was with Scott Stewart of Declaration Grooming, someone I respect in this industry quite a lot. And um, it was a bit of a different episode for us. It was an episode that covered a lot of his personal struggles with anxiety and depression. And in that, I alluded to the fact that I too struggle with that. I don't think I have it anywhere near as bad as him, but honestly, like, I I still have days where I just don't feel happy, really, is the way I put it, and I'm not sure why. I've had it most of my adult life, honestly. Even most of my young life. I've never been the happiest person. Um, I've always been quite negative up until fairly recently, um, within the last couple of years. And 
there's something we touched on. Well, not so much touched on it. That was the main topic of discussion because it's difficult to understand really what goes on with someone behind the scenes when all you see the products they make. And that's definitely the case with Scott. You know, Scott often gets quite a lot of um, stick for really small releases and not releasing things frequently. I'm a, I'm a big believer in to say that's probably why. And like I said, I too struggle with that. Not to the same level. I mean, some days are fine and other days I do feel pretty shitty. A big part of that for me is setting goals. I'm quite a goal oriented person. Make me hitting goals makes me feel darn good, I have to say. So that's something I enjoy doing. Be that in a hobby or professionally, hitting goals is something that I, I strive for. It gives me a degree of focus. When I have nothing to focus on is when a slippery, sto sl slippery slope starts to come and then I start to feel quite negative and down. It takes a few days of being bored and having nothing to do. And that's a big reason of why I've been releasing a, a video a day. Um, it gives me the chance to get in front of the camera and talk to you guys. Which brings me on to the point that I want to thank every one of you who has subscribed to me recently and who is currently supporting my YouTube channel. I, <laughs> you guys are my outlet, you know, as weird as it sounds. And I know sometimes I can go on these stupid rants that don't do me any favors. But talking to you guys, for me, is almost like talking to a friend. I, like I've said before, I don't have many friends here. So the idea of just being able to stand in front of a camera and have loads of people answer me via the comments is, is, is a big help to me, personally. And I, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my videos, you know? It's... Even if you need to go through watching me lather for an hour of video, you know, um, I, I appreciate you all. And th this, I'm telling you, this distilled water thing, there's something to this. Uh, I give credit to Justin, the Red Island Shaver, because he's told me for ages, I used distilled water, I used distilled water. Most of the fact that I didn't was down to pure laziness. And something I found that I would do is I would buy some. Once it runs out, I don't get any more. So I found a way with this like kind of squirty bottle to make sure that doesn't happen. Test the lather consistency. It's very dense. Excelsior is one of my favorite soap bases. It yields brilliant results, but it's very easy to work with as well. I think we're good here, honestly. Goody too high. Way too high. <laughs> I have a tag video I need to make. Um, DK tagged me in a video. That's gonna be a weekend video. So I'm gonna get that uploaded on Saturday or Sunday. And it's shaving with the classics. Uh, it's prompting me to do a series where I shave with all of the classic shave soaps. I've had quite a lot of Europeans and people that aren't based in the North America. I don't think all of these artisanal products are as available to them. And because of that, they still use quite a lot of, of the good mass produced stuff. And I have no problem using that stuff. Paradigm Diamond back, let's go with the grain. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't used that I would love to use. Like, uh, the Ponificio Vodicino and the Labra and stuff like that.
So that is coming in the near future. This is a good razor. Very good shape stuff as well. So yeah, these daily videos have been helping me quite a bit. So I appreciate all of you who are tuning in to watch. And leaving comments and engaging with me. It's funny because I, I need to avoid trying to not sound like I'm seeking for any sympathy, I guess. I'm not, I'm just telling you the situation, you know. I, I have days where I feel better than others. Sometimes I can't sleep. I struggle with sleeping quite a bit, honestly. It's, it's plagued me for about three or four years. Okay, let's go cross grain here. One thing that really irritates me about these high polished razors, even if you treat them like a newborn baby, they're still going to get scratches. And that really bugs me. <laughs> Because there's nothing you can do, it's just gonna happen. If I was to have a mass produced soap that's currently my favorite before using all of them, I would say Mitchell's Warfare. However, I've not used them all, so I wouldn't know. I've not used, I've not used a lot of them, honestly. I've used a few. And Mitchell's Warfare's brilliant for me. It's very good. Something like peanut past this. Cool. Let's do these bits and we're good. Don't know how long we've been going. Yeah, we're fine. It's not the most comfortable razor there for me. It gets the job done, yes, but I have many more that are more comfortable. Okay, let's get the lather on the face. I know, 
I'll be back with the post shave. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it's uh, post shave time. Let's go with the matching aftershave splash. I had a bit louder on there. This is in his Deltas formula. I like this very much. That's um, Oh, very little burn. Beautiful, what a shame. Like always, let me show you what I used and uh, I'll let you guys go. So my soap of choice today was one of my favorites, Barris Renman's Seville. How would I describe this? It's a very citrusy barbershop, it's lovely. If you like barbershops, I recommend you try this one out. My razor of choice was the Paradigm Diamondback with the Bic Chrome Platinum on its first use. My brush was this beautiful 26 mil turn and shave brush, turn and shave brush, <laughs> with this really nice red coin and this really cool hybrid handle. And to finish off the shave, we used the matching aftershave splash in Barrister and Man's Deltas formula. Yeah, before I go, I'd like to thank you guys once again for joining in. Just joining me with these videos, you know, commenting below, giving me feedback. I really do appreciate it. Having the outlet to vent and just to chat to you guys really helps me. You know, it makes me feel less lonely, frankly. So I thank you all. And um, yeah, keep, keep doing it, keep supporting, and I'll keep cranking them out. Uh, it's something that I enjoy, and I hope it's something that you guys enjoy too. Uh, if, you, if you've ever struggled with anything like that, feel free to reach out to me and we'll have a chat about it, you know. Everyone is human and these things happen in life, you know. You find yourselves in difficult situations and you find yourself in not so, not the most ideal of mindsets and certain things help you get out of it and especially in this time where you can't leave and you can't, it's difficult to collect your thoughts when you're stuck in the same house all the time. Uh, reach out to someone. I'm, I imagine they'll be willing to help you. And if, if, if you don't have anyone, talk to me. I'm willing to do that too. But yeah, uh, check out that episode of Scott from Declaration Grooming. It's a very insightful episode. It's quite a deep episode. It's about two hours long. We discuss a multitude of topics related to depression and anxiety, how it's affected his business and stuff like that. Give him some support as well. Uh, I think he'd really appreciate that. So yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grimm, wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.